Hi, welcome to Nav's Comics. Hope you survived the experience. So now we're on part three of my July comic book haul, and this part is Marvel. Now, let's start off with Spirits of Vengeance, Spirit Rider. I was kind of excited about this series, and so I bought two issues of number one. Um, it's not a series, it's a one-shot. And it was okay. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So, to be honest, when I saw the solicitation for this one, I thought, oh, I'm going to look, look for the first appearance of this character. And at the time, they're on eBay for around 20 bucks, And I was like, eh, that seems a bit much. And then a month went on, and now they're like 40 bucks. Like, uh, whatever. I, like, I don't I don't regret buying, not buying it for 20 But especially since it's not ongoing. Like, if it was ongoing, I'd be more interested, but it's not. Now here we have Gamma Flight number two, and this is another little, I don't say dis, I don't say disappointment, eh, maybe, but when I first saw the solicitation for this one, and I'm not, haven't been reading into Immortal Hulk, I thought, oh cool, like a spin-off of a, you know, Alpha Flight, because there was, actually I think I said it before, I, I call this comic Omega Flight, um, I can't remember... The, Long ago in Alpha Flight history, there was another team, like a secondary team. I can't remember what they were called. If it was, I mean, it was a Beta. It was either Beta, Gamma, Omega. You know, one of those flights. And so, I thought it was like that sort of thing, not like a focused on Gamma, which makes a lot of sense. So, uh, yeah, it's but you know, it's all right. I'll I'll finish it out. I think it's a five issue series. Uh, here we have Carnage, Black, White, and Blood, number four. Uh, that's been a pretty okay, you know, fun little series, which I you know, four issues is the end. Here we have Aliens Aftermath number one. And then I have Aliens number. Uh oh. And then I have Aliens number. Here it is. Aliens number five. I'm not sure the order. I'll have to look it up to see the order in which I should read these. But that's been a very enjoyable series. And I'm going to quickly cut to, because it's this, oh, it's annual, but whatever. Uh, Thor, annual number one, part of the Infinite Destinies. I have one other annual, the Black Cat one, and I've not read it. I, just, I want to pull that one out because I ran out of boards. So one, my one Marvel book not boarded was Thor number 15. The start of revelations um you know i hear i hear a lot of people kind of <laughs> digging on donny cates uh i guess mainly for venom stuff but i'm i'm really liking a sore i yeah like i'm i am just digging it so i'm glad i got back into a store all right so next little set here we have extreme carnage part two of five the stream issue and then Extreme Carnage Part 3 of 5, the Phage issue. Carnage Part 3 of 5. Oh, am I in there? Finally, Extreme Carnage 4 of 5, the Lasher issue. Extreme Carnage 4. I don't really know anything about Lasher or Phage, so I'm just curious. I think that's a five issue series. I mean, I think they're all, I don't know if they're all one shots. Yeah, they're all one shots, but part of the Extreme Carnage storyline. Here we have Guardians of the Galaxy number 16, part of The Last Annihilation. Um, in the last issue, we found that Dormammu like, has overtaken Ego, the living planet. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, and for some reason, I ordered two issues. Maybe Solicitation mentioned that there might be a new character. I'm not sure. And this, maybe the same thing here. I don't know why I bought two issues of this. But Mar uh, Captain Marvel number 30 is learning magic. Here we have United States of Captain America number two. Now I did also buy this from the LCS, forgetting that I ordered it. And then I got the design variant, because actually I thought this was pretty cool. And then speaking of Immortal Hulk, Immortal Hulk number 49, because why not get into it as at the penultimate issue? 
Um, and then apparently issue 50 is a $10 book. And I am praying it is a full-on story book, not like a whole bunch of little small stories. Because, I mean, that would be a pretty uh, pretty bad ending, in my opinion, to a run that has a lot of people really raving about it. All right, here I got three copies. Shang-Chi, number three. This is the first appearance of his sister, who happens to be a mutant. So it kind of went all in on that. You never know. And actually, I've I've really been enjoying the series. Uh, so I actually, kinda, I mean, I bought issues one and two already. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep keep buying those. Mighty Valkyries number four. I think this is out of five. It doesn't say, but it's been an enjoyable series. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. man, I have to. Like I I like I like how the comics present up here. But yeah, it's a little bit flimsy. <laughs> and then I love these covers. Black Cat number eight. I love these covers. At the infinity score. And he, I don't know, just the energy on that cover is just amazing. And then I had to get a variant by by Peach Momoko with just another amazing cover. I just love the it's like the hair, the the flowers, like everything is sort of mixing. Even though it's like the same color, I, I don't know. It's just, man, it just really stands out for me. I, I really like it. I, I don't know. Here we have Avengers number 47, part of the World War She-Hulk. She's World War in, uh, what do you call it? Kid, <laughs> superhero napped uh, by people in charge of the Red Room. Uh, let me take these down. Make those don't make sure those don't spill over. So here we have Sinister Ward number one. Make sure those don't spill over. And Sinister Ward number two. I haven't heard great things, but uh, yeah, I'm hopeful. Here we have the John Romita Jr. variant of Moon Knight number one. I've always been a big fan of, of his artwork. Uh, this is it doesn't really live up to the hype I gave it, but it, it's all right. And then I ordered two copies of Moon Knight number one, the A cover, but they were shorted and they don't have those yet. I'm a little disappointed. I mean, that's X-Men number one and Moon Knight number one that I'm shorted on. Uh, and I do have variants of each of them to read, but yeah, just a little, a little disappointed by that. Here we have Fantastic Four number 34, part of the, the wedding. Um, I did decide post to wedding like I guess whenever that is but the uh, the October issues I stopped buying Fantastic Four again even though I think the writing's pretty good I just don't have I just don't want to get into it uh, Eternals number six I think this is the last one I, I don't really know for sure I think this is the last one. and then Beta Ray Bill number five and this is the last of the series um, it's been a pretty enjoyable series so yeah that is Marvel for the month of July for me uh, Marvel minus the X-Men titles, which was obviously in part one. So thank you for watching. I uh, really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and you commented and subscribed. And hopefully I will see you for the next one. So thanks a lot and have a good one. Bye.